As you guys can see right here, I'm literally playing performance mode in chapter three right now. Of course, take a look at the gameplay on screen. I'm literally playing Fortnite on performance mode. So make sure you guys keep watching this video to the end if you want to find out how. What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you how to get performance mode on console here in Fortnite Chapter 3, so make sure you watch this video to the end if you want to find all the info. But of course, real quick, I would like to let you guys know that I do gift my subscribers all the time here on the channel, so if you would like the chance to receive a free gift here in Fortnite, all you guys have to do is smash the like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel with the post notification bell turned on. Once you've done that, comment your Epic Games username down below in the comment section so I can add you guys on Fortnite and of course, send you a free gift. Also guys, if you would like to support me here in Fortnite, feel free to use code IMAC in the shop hashtag ad. That's code I-M-A-C-K in the Fortnite item shop hashtag ad if you guys want to support me. But yes, guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what you need to do to kind of go ahead and get performance mode on console right now here in Fortnite Chapter 3. So make sure you guys watch this video to the end if you want to find out how. But of course, guys, yes, basically, performance mode is a version of Fortnite that right now is only on PC. And of course, guys, basically, performance mode makes your game perform so much better. But every single person has been wondering how do we get performance on console here in Fortnite Chapter 3? So, of course, guys, right now in this video, I'm going to be basically showing you exactly what you guys need to do. So, you need to keep watching this video all the way to the end without skipping any parts if you want to find out how. But, of course, guys, basically what you want to do is go into creative mode of Fortnite right now, guys, and load it up. Of course, guys, basically, I'm just going to show in creative mode the settings and exactly what you guys need to do to get performance mode on console here in chapter 3 so make sure you guys do go ahead and keep watching this video all the way to the end because trust me you don't want to miss it of course guys as you know performance mode is super super amazing here inside of Fortnite and of course it's honestly so sad that we can't get performance mode on console but of course in this video I'm basically going to be showing you guys exactly what you need to do to essentially get performance mode on of course console here in chapter 3 so make sure you guys keep watching but of course I'm just going to travel into my aunt right now and of course start the game to show you guys what you do need to go ahead and do this is going to be insane this makes you guys keep watching of course game starting in 3 2 1 but of course guys first let's take a look at what normal fortnite looks like on console right now of course if you didn't know i play on the xbox series s as you guys can see but of course guys this method works for any console xbox playstation it doesn't matter but of course guys basically this is of course what normal fortnite looks looks like on console right now. Of course, it's just basic boring Fortnite and there's no performance mode at all. Of course, guys, it just looks like this and honestly, it's kind of boring. But of course, what if I told you there was a way to get performance mode on console right now in chapter three? So make sure you guys pay attention and watch this video to the end to find out exactly what you need to do. But of course, guys, basically what you guys want to do is open up the settings right now of Fortnite. So of course, guys, go to settings right now like this, guys, and oh my my goodness guys how crazy is that of course guys basically the first thing you actually want to do is scroll down to the color blind settings here inside of Fortnite and of course guys what you want to do is set this to due to the rope mode on the color blind settings and of course after that make sure the strength is set to exactly four on the color blind settings how crazy is that so of course guys yes the first thing you want to do to basically get performance mode on console here in 2021 is go to the color Colorblind setting, put it on due to the rope, guys, and make sure the string is set to four. And oh my goodness, guys, how crazy is that? Of course, guys, after that, what you guys want to do is scroll down to where it says motion blur, and of course, guys.
guys, make sure motion blur is actually turned on for this to actually work better. So of course, guys, yeah, basically what you want to do is make sure you guys have motion blur turned on. How crazy is that? Of course, guys, after that, what you want to do is scroll all the way over to the game settings tab right here. And of course, guys, next, make sure you guys are set to the correct region here inside of Fortnite. Of course, guys, it doesn't matter which region you're on. Just make sure you're set to the lowest ping region, guys, for you. So, of course, guys, for me, I live in the Oceana region. So, of course, my server is Oceana. So, of course, guys, yeah, just make sure you are set to the correct servers here inside of Fortnite. How awesome is that? Of course, guys, after that, what you want to do is come down here and make sure your settings are exactly like mine here inside of Fortnite. So, of course, guys, toggle to sprint turned on, sprint by default off, sprint counts as reloading off, all doors open. Of course, guys, for the combat settings, it doesn't really matter, but just make sure that your movement settings are exactly like mine here inside of Fortnite. How awesome is that? Of course, guys, after that, what you want to do is come down here to the building settings of Fortnite. And, of course, guys, basically, this is probably the most important part, so make sure you pay attention. Of course, guys, for building, you need to have reset set building choice actually turned on here inside of Fortnite as well as disable pre-edit option to be building and confirm edit on release of course guys all these need to be turned on to kind of get performance mode on console here in chapter 3 how awesome is that of course guys after that what you guys want to do is scroll down to the replay section right here and you need to have live stream replays and creative mode replays actually turned off of course for those that don't know these replays chew up so much throw on your console and they can actually make it lag and not perform as well. So of course guys basically both these things live stream replays and creative replays need to be turned off for this to work the best. How crazy is that? Of course guys after that what you guys want to do is move over to the game UI settings right now and of course basically your hard scale if it's not already needs to be set to exactly 100% here inside of Fortnite which is of course the default. Of course guys after that what you want to do is make sure your settings are exactly like mine here inside of Fortnite. Of course, guys, just make sure go through right now. Feel free to pause, guys, and just check. But of course, go through and make sure your settings are exactly like mine here inside of Fortnite. So of course, guys, make sure they're the exact same as this. Of course, guys, after that, down here is the most important setting of this whole entire video. And of course, guys, that setting is creative runtime performance stats. Of course, guys, for this one, I can't stress this enough but this needs to be turned off here inside of Fortnite. Of course, guys, basically, if this is turned on, guys, it essentially sends stats to Epic Games and it makes your console lag so, so much and it chews through so much memory and power on your console. So, of course, guys, I can't stress enough, make sure the bottom one is turned off. That is the most important thing, guys, in this whole entire video, of course. Make sure creative runtime performance stats is turned off here inside of Fortnite. How awesome is that? Of of course, guys, and basically, that is all you guys need to do. Of course, guys, after that, essentially, it is basically going to go ahead and give your console kind of like performance mode here inside of Fortnite. Of course, guys, basically, unfortunately, it's not actually performance mode, but of course, basically, it is the closest you can get on console, and oh my goodness, it looks insane. So, of course, guys, yes, just make sure your settings are exactly like mine in this video, and of course, guys, yes, if you do that, it's basically basically gonna kind of give you performance mode on console here in chapter 3. How crazy is that? But yeah guys, that was the video. I just wanted to make this video to show you guys how to get performance mode on console here in chapter 3. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash the like button down below. Of course, subscribe with the post notification bell turned on. And hopefully, I can see you guys in another video. Good. Bye.